Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I have missed a day, I apologise for that. But I really, really couldn't be asked recording an episode. I couldn't sleep, man. And you know what that's like. So I thought I'd not stress myself out over it. I did put an Isaac episode up, so I hope you enjoyed that. And if you didn't, keep watching it until you do, I guess. That's the only way of doing it. Now, uh, it's fairly obvious that so far we're not doing too well in terms of actually upgrading everybody. Look, Miri here, Tim... Uh, D here, all these people have not even remotely near, well, okay, remotely near the max level, but look, Miri could quite easily get uh, next level of everything. D's got level 3 of attack there, Ziki level 3, I mean, Vestals, of course, I have not been focusing on that. Uh, my character has got level 5 attack, but, you know, all these people are under-leveled for their abilities and we can't afford to upgrade them, which is a big issue. So what I thought we'd do is we'd actually take people out who are at the right level. They're as good as they can be, but maybe I thought basically what we'll do is we'll cheese it up and send level 4 people on a level 3 mission. Now, we have a town event which is that uh, all stress relief activities are less effective, which is kind of okay. I mean, we don't really have anybody in for stress relief right now. Uh, a few people do need it, but we can wait. I'm pretty sure that will be fine. It's all the level 5 people that we sent out, and of course we did lose Erasmus at the end of the last episode, or because the end last episode ended because we left, left the third uh, Erasmus. So he is now interred eternally, interred in, in Ermini, in the graveyard, which is a shame, but it does leave us a space in our roster, but there's nothing worth picking up at the moment, so I'm going to leave that space open. And what I think we'll do is we'll send out Ellie uh, with some nice people to help uh, into a level 3 mission which we will select at random. No, no. Which one's level 3, this colour? Medium, 100% of room battles. Could be difficult with someone like Ellie on our tail, but it's basically the only option that we have, so I guess we'll be doing that. Uh, I would like to do a short one, but... See, this is... this. Oh, There is a short version of the same thing, so that's probably what we'll do. So let's put Ellie at the back. And then we'll take Rakuda who is perfectly well leveled for their level, if you see what I mean. Uh, I think we'll take... We might as well take Doug. I mean... when it's, it's The toss-up is between Doug and Holmesy, right? But they're both leveled in what matters, which is their healing skills. Holmesy has the judgment there. And slightly more higher level in terms... Oh, might as well. The reason I was thinking is that we could... Uh, yeah. If we put Doug in, Doug's already slightly stressed out. So if we then do a bit more stress to that unit, it's more valuable to put them in for de-stress when we come back, when hopefully this will have gone away. Uh, and at the front we'll put Psycho. Now Psycho doesn't have fully leveled skills, but we can't afford it, so I'm not worried about it. I think we'll just go straight ahead and do this. Uh, I've got nothing else to do or say. Uh, right now, so the ruins, ruins, this could be a bit dangerous because of course we do have a history of taking a ridiculous amount of stress damage in the ruins, but that's fine, we're doing a short mission and we're taking the antiquarian along on purpose to get as much money as possible, which means we want to be able to open up as much stuff as possible. We will take a lot of food because there don't tend to be any of those tables, there are some things that can give you food, but it's very unlikely um, to show up, so I'm not going to worry about taking the medicinal herbs. Uh, I can't afford all this. So we just have to hope for the best. It is only a short mission, so I don't need to worry too much about taking that much food, I guess. Um, also, I'm not going to take so many shovels. Should I take three keys? I think I will take three keys, although don't forget, we have all these people who just keep using things without any, you know, permission. And certainly without letting me have the opportunity to, to put a key in it. Which is very frustrating. Right. Uh, you. We've got two of those. Is that okay? Do we need two of those? Faithless? I'm sorry. You are... <laughs> you are the most faithful of all units, and yet you've become faithless. Um, less stress damage could be valuable. If we think they're going to stress out, we should take this. I mean, this kind of contradicts itself. 20% less stress damage and then 15% virtue chance. If we're taking 20% less stress damage, we're trying to not stress out in the first place, so the virtue chance is not that useful. But this less stress damage, I guess, is. But 
protection. Yeah, I think we just go for the... I mean, it's a Crusader, right? We take Crusader stuff. I think we're going to do this uh, this quick draw charm, which I do like doing. It slows you down for the rest of the thing, but obviously the very first attack can be quite devastating if you use something strong like the Duelist Advance or with Erasmus RIP. The, the lunge, which is a great word to say as well as a great thing to do, so it's, it can be quite obscene if done correctly. Um, I don't think we need to compromise one for the other. We are going to be moving around doing both. More dodge and speed could be good. More dodge and more trap disarm. Uh, I don't mind the extra dodge, actually. That seems like a good idea. Normally, you might want to say something like, you know, give this joker the um, a load of extra damage, but honestly, I don't necessarily think that's that important. We are doing level 4 people in a level 3 dungeon. So, I'm happy to go with just reducing damage input rather than increasing damage output. Uh, below 26 is something we've never done. Yes. We do take more stress, but that's okay. And, uh, I mean, with this unit, maybe you want more scouting chance. We normally give the book to these people, to the, to the antiquarians, because their actual DPS output is not that great, so buffing it could be good, but uh, I'm not too concerned. So we'll go... I'm going to drink some whiskey, and hopefully this will improve my play as we go through. Mm -hmm. ah, they can be blighted. Good. Right. That's a very small dungeon. And what better place to begin than the seat of our well, we know we have to go this way and then not to there, so... We should explore as much as we can without... 110%, perfect. Um, without overstretching ourselves, basically. You're going to do this. I remembered. Of course, that one's been looted, and then uh, Doug here will obviously... Uh, it is unsettling. I was kind of expecting that. I was hoping we got something anyway. Um, I'm half expecting Doug to just use everything. Probably should have used a torch just before we did that. So that was a great corridor. Uh, we surprise him anyway, even though this is happening. So we want to get rid of these stress-inducing units ASAP, as far as I'm concerned. We will not kill them without a crit, but we will get somewhere reasonably close, and we do have repost, which I tend to forget about, and then go, ooh, repost. Uh, do we invinegrate everybody, or do we stab? Can't stab that, so we might as well give everyone this dodge chance, which is really quite useful. What's your HP here? Let's have a look at this. 4 to 8 on that, 3 to 6 on that, versus probably killing these outright because this has a damage versus unholy and these are all unholy, so probably we just try and kill this. This is not what happened, but there was a chance, you have to admit. You. You get to de dodge one of these, which I think is actually pretty useful if you can hit it. I mean. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you can hit it, you can kill it. I'm actually happy with that. I used the unit, uh, the, I used the technique to try and remove the dodge from that unit. But what actually happened was we killed the unit, which did remove the dodge from that unit. Uh, of course, if it had dodged it, we would neither have got the removed dodge nor the kill. So, uh, it, you know, you, you kill something, you've debuffed it. It's like max debuff. Uh, so... 84% hit chance. That's actually really good. Um, the Antiquarian tends to get a bad rap, but in that situation, and in fact most situations where I've used Nervous Stab, it's always seemed like it's going to do a lot less damage or be a lot less useful than it turns out to have been, which is great. Uh, I'm going to hold off on the heals for now, because we might as well just keep smiting these jabronis. 3-7 to seven versus 2-4, to four. so we might as well at least get a bit of extra damage, and it also heals yourself for 4 HP, which is kind of what I was worried about in the first place, was the fact, oh, 7 HP, uh, is that you were one of the two people that needed some uh, HP, and the repost finishes the game, which is super good. What is this? This is... Now, this removes something bad from a unit, does it not? So, could be a disease or a... Uh, a negative quirk. 
So maybe we try and get rid of a negative quirk of someone we actually don't like. Uh, uh, one of the ones that's actually a, a big problem. Reinvinigrates the hero. Okay. Uh, 8 HP and 10 stress. I'm pretty sure I'm right that it could also have been the other thing that we said. I'm going to continue exploring, by the way, and the reason for that is that we're here with the Antiquarian and that fight went really, really well and there is no other fight coming up. So, uh, I think I'm just going to keep... Ugh, seriously. Faithless. I don't care. Um, hoping that the Antiquarian will stop finding bookshelves. Oh, that's all right. Doug's on the case. Deal with it. Boom! There's the uh, stress that we just... <laughs> Recovered from the previous. In radiance, Nothing in here, but we'll go in and, and avoid walking backwards, which is a stress-dealing activity. Well, that didn't go too well so far, but at least the one battle that we did have was uh, very much a success because none of the attacks that I would expect to miss missed, which is always uh, a bit salt-inducing, I have to be honest. I'm assuming this what what's actually happening here is that they're leaving the torches behind as they walk around, which is why the corridors remain lit when you come back through them, but I don't know. Right, there is a we're in the right order, correct. There's a battle coming up and it's only these things. So you go first, as expected, and I guess we just kill any of them. Uh kill. No? No? Okay. Uh I don't really think we need to do the dodge game on this battle. I think we've got a pretty good chance of getting through it unscathed. We should do this. We definitely should have done that. Remember to reset your party order. So we should come back with some decent amount of HP. Uh, HP. GP. Or is it what is this? Well, light? we'll find out. <laughs> yes, yes. Deal with it. Very well. A buff. 20% damage until camp. That kind of makes up for the fact that I didn't want to bring any damage bonus trinket on that unit. I mean, I think we're over level. But I know that we're over level, but my point is... I think that even oh hello uh, with the trinkets on top of it all, even the I think that we're basically OP for this mission. But I wanted to do something that was going to be easy and get us a lot of gold. Oh, Christ's sake! <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of considering. Oh, brilliant! Oh, there we go. Uh, kind of considering being more ruthless with getting rid of people. I'm honestly considering getting rid of some named people. Uh, the units that I don't use very much. Probably as evidenced by the fact that they're low level, but don't forget some of those low level units haven't had the opportunity. Yes, that's what we want. Haven't had the opportunity to be used and to gain HP because they were out leveled and we can't do anything with them right now. Uh, I think we start invigorating here because we can't do much damage to these units with that unit. So you could, you know, that dodge buff that I gave you? Do you want to. No? This is a situation where I'd very much like to have a prot removing uh, debuff. I think we just judgment these because you're the only one who's taken damage. Okay, do we still get a heal? No. Okay. I guess that's some sort of lifesteal in lore or something? I don't know. Like, if you use a. Uh, if in real life, let's construct this hypothetical universe in which real life contains uh, these magic wielding units that can remove physical malady with magical incantations, let's just suggest that if you were going to use a skill that did damage to something that could also heal yourself, that then you might consider that the healing yourself part would be independent of the damage dealing part, but I mean who I, <laughs> I don't know I'm not a, a wizard, I'm not a mage, I'm not a cleric I'm merely an engineer of software. Let's get a kill plus here. Felt pretty confident about that, although looking at it, 3 <laughs> HP. Might not have been the amount of HP we were really looking for. I mean, that was very close to its... I think that was as much HP as it had, so we could have failed that. Uh, which would have been unfortunate. We'll keep doing this, even though it's not really working out for us so far. We're going to have a decent dodge. Plus 27, just for that. Uh, and I think I'll do this one here. 12. Now, if only you were a little bit closer. Just a little bit. Oh, that's longer. Not closer. Uh, to hell with it. Just hit this. I mean, we could try and hit that and then hit that, but um, why, right? Other things can hit this unit. 5 to 12. That's a decent range. If we hit it. Ah, I mean, come on. 
Okay. The, t the 12 was the thing we needed, and that was you know, quite a range to try and get 12 on, but you know, cut me a break every now and then. Let's uh, do that. Because that unit had a go. And I wanted it to not have that go, so that's what happened. Uh, I'm very pleased with that. Health, self for HP. Look, the thing is here, this does more damage than this. Look, that's 2 to 4, and that's 3 to 7. Why would I ever use this? Except specifically for the debuff, but then whenever I'm trying to apply a dodge debuff, I don't want to use it because it's going to dodge the bloody debuff. Debuff, which is... Shit. So we've got some curio to a trap. One more battle. That could be the last battle. We will do the whole uh, place because this has gone really well. And I might do a second one because this has been a very short video so far. With the same set of people. Although I would very much like to... Yes, like it. Um, remove these compulsivenesses uh, also. I'm being spoke to and I'd rather that that was not happening. By what? Was that a Facebook? Facebook, seriously. Excuse me. While I oust Facebook from my... Why are you on this monitor? Go away. There we go. Uh, we got rid of the trap, which was good because I just started walking without thinking about it. No more distractions, I promise. Yeah, I think we can do this. Let's get rid of this unit first. No crit. I was kind of hoping just to go through this on crits, but, you know, crits are crutches. Uh, so we need to do more damage to that unit, although they could sort of stop and let me have a go in order to try that. I think we can probably kill these straight out. Yeah, absolutely. And it does so much damage, uh, I was expecting maybe not to leave a corpse, but it was not to be. Keep invigorating until we need you to do some stabbing. I think we'll leave you where you are. And I'm going to use a dodge thing here because, well, I was going to say it could hit and do enough damage. It could remove the dodge to allow us to do more damage in the future. So both of those are a definite bonus. I'm actually probably going to want to try and get rid of this. Can we get rid of this like this? No. I'm going to stab this. And then when Psycho has a go, I'm going to do a kill plus on this. Which brings that into Psycho range. Which allows us to use the... Uh, well, those are a bit useless, aren't they? I'm going to do point blank shot on this. Good. Now Psycho can do extra damage to that, which fills me with happy glow of joy. Excellent. I do like healing myself like that because it means I don't have to use a heal to heal, which in this situation is not actually that important because we haven't actually really made much use of uh, Doug's healing abilities in the first place. However, uh, in the future, that could be very valuable. And insidious killer. So it seems to me that these uh, quirks that cause them to interact with things don't cause them to interact with things that were there when you got to the room. I think it's only curios in the corridor. So what we're going to do is we're going to wander down here, open these up, take the stuff from inside, and then leave. So we don't know. Uh, we could get some good stuff from that battle, so we'll do it. Why not? We'll use our torches. They're only going to give us a, a few gold at the end of it all. And I'm hoping that this, like, Doug is still on as much stress as Doug went in with. So, I mean, who cares, right? At this stage. Well, that's a little bit more. But we went in on the theory that Doug would get fully stressed. Can we kill this? Yes. Um, but it has not happened. Uh, that's going to do some more, though. So, <laughs> famous last words and all that. Uh, so we can send Doug in again until Doug needs to go in for some treatment and then I think this is one time where actually I will fully heal myself with that unit because just like I was saying before I haven't actually had to do anything particularly onerous in terms of Doug's healing and that was the first time anyone's taken so much damage that I was worried about it and now we can start using you know uh, party heal just to keep everyone on top of the game there because we really need to survive this uh, combat, which is basically guaranteed. I need to not kill it. Because <laughs> we need to get Raikuda to go backwards. 
We don't need to, but there's two things, right? There's open vein, which can't hit anything, and there's point blank shot, which can't hit anything. So we didn't really necessarily do that in the right order. But also, we're going to get a lot of opportunity to put a lot of damage on this unit. So, again, don't really care about the inefficiency of that situation. Judgment will do no damage. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. And we'll smite this corpse, get rid of it, and then next round everything's dead. And you get to advance again. Oh, wow. Well done. That thing's got a lot of dodge. Well, it's not got a lot of dodge, but it's still a lot of dodge. Ing. It's a lot of dodging, considering it's only got as much dodge as it does have. Make sense? Yes. Thank you. Good kill. Do you get more XP for doing that? I hope so. Oh, hello. Um, sure, we'll take that. And there's nothing in there, so we'll, we'll go home. That was a very quick run, and I'm actually thinking maybe we do a second one right now. Or what do you think? Uh, it's, it's been about 20 minutes. I think I'll do a second episode. Please, thank you. And nobody level up. Ah, oh, you've all fucking leveled up, you bastards. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fan of this. Uh, Doug is now great in the ruins, so... And you have got... Meh, not something I'm likely to use, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting another one of those town events where everything's free. Yeah, like that. <laughs> but everything. Medical ward is free, so... That is in here, which is just this one. Diseases and other physical maladies, which... I guess we could do with something on. We've got a new trinket as well. Fizz, what have you got? Fits. I mean, maybe we do a level 3 with people who are level 3. 2's there. 3's here. Kind of not that great. 12,000 isn't going to get us very much. And I was honestly hoping to get all the money poured into the upper levels there. To try and get them uh, equipped to their level. But, I mean, we can't even take Ellie onto the mission that we just took Ellie onto. Because... And we could do a level 5 mission now, but it doesn't seem that that amazing. Doug, what did you pick up? M move resist. Bleed resist. Maybe we do that? Maybe we start getting rid of people we just never use. Maybe we should stress out some of these people. I mean, I'll bring them back with the same names. It's just that I want to cycle the, the actual units to stop spending all this damn money on them and to get the ball rolling. Some what? I think that was a decent party, so I'm going to keep it. What's Holmesy got? Hemophilia and rabies. So there's a chance that we can... Um, I don't want... The... I don't want someone who's going to be that useful as a character, i.e. the healer, to be bleeding out and have to heal themselves all the time, which is a great problem. Uh, maybe we just take Sajaris out of this... For now. Let's see what we've got in the stagecoach. Fill in a bit of time to make this feel like we've not just disappeared and churned out an episode. But it was a very fast episode, and the next one will do the same thing, I think, straight up. Uh, I do like Grave Robbers. We could bring Erasmus back as Erasmus was, but level 2 is not good enough. 24 of those needed. That's a lot. I mean, we can't really... Not those. What do we need? 24 is another 7. Ah, uh, that's not so bad. Word is traveling. That seems like an okay idea, because it's got to... I remember very early on in the series, I was saying, Stagecoach, why would I ever really upgrade it, right? I understand the value of upgrading the levels of the heroes, so having more of them doesn't seem that useful, but now that I'm at this stage, where I'm trying to fill in a single slot in the roster just to get these people out um suddenly it's a great idea you know so what, what did we win here we got this eight speed on first round and what is that for <laughs> what would i ever use that for oh i didn't mean to do that because we're going with the same people next well i've done it uh thank you for watching in the next episode, I'm going to try and do exactly the same thing. Let's see if we can. Yeah, looks like we can. Medium level 3 mission. Pardon me. 
Ah, no, we need to do a level 5 mission now. So we're trying to do a short level 5. Can we do that? Yeah. I think we can do that. Well, as I said, thank you for watching. I appreciate all your views and all your comments. And as long as they're well spelled and grammatically accurate and not complete nonsense, please feel free to leave as many comments as you wish. But until the next episode, thank you for watching and I'll see you then.